Hello and welcome to a brand new episode of Instacar HK. Today, we're at Blackbird Ferrari's preview of the latest Ferrari Portofino M. M, of course, stands for Modificata, which means modified version of the original Portofino, which was released in 2017. Now, most of you will know that the Portofino line started off in 2008 with the Ferrari California. Now, while some people these days would think the California may be a bit outdated, many forget how groundbreaking the California was for Ferrari, as it was the first modern Ferrari with front engine 2 plus 2 Grand Tour Spider. It was going straight at the Mercedes SL market, the baby Aston Martins, and of course, the Porsche 911 Carrera. As a result, the California line was always a successful part of the Ferrari lineup. It's being a very good seller and its legacy continues today with this newest Portofino M. Now being an M version, of course the exterior also has to be changed. And personally, Part this is purely my personal opinion. I think most of the M versions of the more modern Ferraris, such as the uh, 456 or the F512M, or even the 575M, didn't really look as good as the original models. But I think for the first time in my view, this M version actually really did enhance the original look of the Portofino. Now the original Portofino is already a pretty good looker, but with this new M version, they have enlarged and made these side front air intakes a lot more aggressive, giving the car an overall more aggressive look. There's also this new aluminum uh, front grille. So all in all, not dramatic changes, but I think changes that really improve the car's aggressiveness and looks, so which I personally really welcome. Now the ordinary Portofino has already come a long way since the California with a twin turbo V8 engine producing a massive 600 horsepower for a comfortable spider where you and your wife can use on a daily basis. With the M, the same engine has been enhanced and increased to 620 horsepower. Other notable changes and enhancement of the Portofino M includes the 8-speed dual clutch transmission as opposed to old, the old 1.7 speed. And I've been told by Ferrari that this 8-speed is not just a simple exercise of adding one more gear. The gearbox is actually straight from the top of the line model SF90. And I've been told that it dramatically changes the driving experience and dynamic of the Portofino. The second important change is the Ferrari's renowned Manatino, where for the first time, the Portofino lineup has now has five modes, including the race mode, which used to be exclusive only to the sportier models, such as the F8 or the 488. Now, this also has Ferrari's latest and famous side slip control mode, which is the mode that helps you drift the car. And while it's just a button on the, on the steering wheel, the side slip control is actually a very sophisticated piece of technology. It has to work with a number of different uh, uh, controls in the car, including the e diff and the F1 uh, traction control, etc. All these different little gremlins inside the car that work together to make it easier and possible for the ordinary driver to drift like a pro. I personally do not hope that mode is ever used in the public roads of Hong Kong, but I think it will be massive fun in racetracks such, such as Zhuhai or Shanghai. Now being a convertible, one important thing is of course how quick the top opens. I've been told by Ferrari that this top can completely open in a mere 14 seconds, what feel like a lifetime quicker than my old 360 Spider. So let's test it out.
Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, please give us a like and subscribe. And remember to click the bell button next to the subscribe button so you know when our next video will be coming out, which will be soon. Thank you.